I have solar panels on my roof. I haven't got everything tied down yet, but here's where they come in. This cable takes you down to this controller. According to that controller, I'm up to 12.8 volts. My battery's almost full. I had it running all night with this little refrigerator on it. I drew, the batteries were fully charged yesterday, that I drew them down to and the battery is flashing three out of two bars, so I have two bars to fill up now. It looks like it's only got one bar left to fill up and the sun's only been up for an hour or two. So anyway, the power runs from here, down that wire, to the battery. The battery's all tied together, it's four 12 volt batteries wired here. We'll run around to get to the other side where these batteries are tied together. So this battery is 100. And batteries fully charged, 4 times 122 is 488. Can I run my refrigerator for 488 hours on the 4 batteries? I don't know. That doesn't sound right to me. Somebody knows more about this stuff, better just explain it to me. So anyway, my batteries stay nice and charged up. Solar power coming in from the roof to the controller to the battery. From the battery, got these big old number two cables. They cost like 20 bucks each. So my Jupiter 2000 amp Harbor Freight modified sine wave. I'm not sure if that was a mistake or not. I went with modified instead of pure. Pure sine wave is better. But Harbor Freight had it on sale. 129 bucks for 2000 bucks. Surge. So, got my refrigerator plugged into that. Got a nice little freezer. The refrigerator staying at, what's that say, 38 degrees. I had it up in the freezer last night and it was down to minus 10 degrees. So, I adjusted my little knob from max to medium. So, we'll see how that does. So that's my solar power setup. My fridge is gonna go about where it is. Right here next to it is a 20 inch gas range. So I'm gonna build a back wall. 